I just wrapped up a discussion with Oracle CEO Mark Hurd here at the NYSE. We talked about everything from cloud technology and security to GE. Here he is on GE in the context of the Internet of Things. Take a listen. Whatever's going on at GE, that, this obviously has deep roots. I mean, all I know is, is sort of what I read about it. But at the end of the day, uh, they're in some very good businesses. I mean, some of those businesses are darn good businesses that have the opportunity to provide lots of information, lots of data, and they can modernize those businesses. I mean, when you go into power, I mean, I can go into each of their businesses, which, and they're a big customer of, of ours. And um, I think they have a tremendous opportunity to monetize those data sets. I think this is the question of how Silicon Valley and the tech world reacts to the turmoil at GE. A lot of these businesses where GE has expertise and data are the very areas where all of these IoT investments, whether it's from Intel or from Microsoft, from Qualcomm, they need to partner with the likes of a GE to get their sensors into those products. So with GE in turmoil, what do they do? Well, and it makes you wonder how systemic the fallout from GE might actually be in Silicon Valley as these companies have become intertwined. You know, he mentioned the adjective big about GE. They're a big customer, they have big businesses, and they're a big player in a lot of these spaces. So, you know, if, if they are restructuring, if they are cutting costs, what does Oracle feel of that? Yeah. We, we also talked about the growth of artificial intelligence in Silicon Valley and the death of the term big data. Everybody in the Valley is saying they're an AI or somebody getting up here saying, hey, we're an artificial intelligence because somebody will trade their stock higher today. Um, and most of the time it's just nonsense. But I think if you went back to at the end of the day, by the way, do you hear the term big data anymore? <laughs> that just died. You right. know, now it's AI. Yeah. But if you said my ability now to look at certain devices, um, industrial pieces of machinery and that can now give me data that can change the level of service, can change the way that, that we work, to change the way we live. Is that a reality? Hell yeah, I think it's a reality. You also said that security no longer a drag on cloud adoption. It might actually be accelerating it. People don't want that responsibility. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.